All right, so I'm going to use the tiered list format right now to give my explanation of what I think are the best and worst popular website builders that are out there right now. So first, I'm going to start with web builders I hate, and that is WordPress. I'm just going to start this off as a D. The reason it's not good, in my opinion, is it's originally set up as a blog platform. You, you can't think of it in terms of, oh, I'm going to build like a drag and drop website. I'm going to lay it all out like I would in like Photoshop or PowerPoint or slides or whatever. No, it's like you're thinking in terms of posts, which are different than pages and plugins and headers and footers and uh, widgets and menus. And if you want to just make a simple design change, like change the positioning of a logo, th there's no intuitive way to know how to do that. Uh, so it's definitely very geared towards developers. The reason it is so popular is because it has this huge marketplace or ecosystem of plugins that are mostly developed by third-party people. And that being the case, you can't always count on the coding being good and you can't count on the plugins working together. So you might install one plugin for a slideshow and then install another plugin for like e-commerce and they might conflict with each other and your whole site is down and now you're just like looking through the code and searching through forums. It is a huge pain and I hate it. I would give it an F, but since it's so popular and so robust, I'm giving it a D. Next is Weebly. I'm gonna give this one maybe a C. This is pretty simple and intuitive. This is just a nice little easy drag and drop website builder. It is very, very limited. I wouldn't say it's for professionals. The templates they provide are pretty cheesy, um, but if you're just getting started and you don't really care about having a site look like it was designed by a designer and you are okay with that sort of out of the box web template thing, then that's for you. But uh, I'd say it's because of its limits and features, I wouldn't ever use it um, for myself or for any of my clients. Next one is Squarespace. I'm going to give this one like maybe a B minus. Uh, that it's known for having really beautiful templates. They definitely uh, look good right out of the box. One thing that I think is good about Squarespace is they limit it in the ways that really matter. So they prevent you from really messing up the template. Um, they it's kind of rigid in terms of like what you can do with layout, but um, they put design first. It has e-commerce. Uh, it has a fair amount of really good features. Um, so yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna diss it too much, but they don't have a free version. Um, in order to publish it, you know, they have a free 30 day trial or maybe it's even shorter than that, but you have to pay to get a live website. So for that reason, I might just, I might keep it down here at C. Now, my preferred web builder is Wix, and I'm going to give it like around here, A. And they've been constantly improving their software. Uh, like since the first time I used it, it is a completely different program. Like they are just constantly um, adding new features, making it simpler, making it easier. They have a huge emphasis on UX. Uh, they do a lot of researching with their users, getting feedback. They have like a features request list. I worked with them uh, when I was in New York and briefly in Texas. And I actually uh, had one-on-one -on -one meetings with their product developers and said, you know, as a web designer, these are features that I would like to see in Wix and every single thing that I ever suggested. And I give them a very long list uh, in multiple meetings uh, they implemented all of them and they just have so many features. It's like the go-to everything web builder and I really like it. Uh, Webflow, they're kind of nipping at Wix's heels from a more professional standpoint. They have a really great, solid, clean, well-functioning interface and a lot of really great features, and you can have a free live site with uh, Webflow. But I would say it is geared more towards professional 
designers. I think where they get you a lot is the templates are not free. Uh, so I would say because of its professionalism, it's up here, but because of its limited access to most people, I'm not going to give it a solid S. I'm going to keep it right around here with Wix. I'm, I'm going to put it slightly lower though. Now Wix kind of came back with this other program called Editor X and they're trying to compete with Webflow, but it is not there yet. Um, I'm using it actually to build my current website. Uh, and it has a lot of really great advanced features that they got from Webflow that Wix doesn't have. Um, but it's finicky and the UX is kind of off and uh, I'll build something and then I'll go check it out in like the tablet version and it'll be all messed up and it doesn't always do what I expect and they increase the price from like the main Wix builder. Uh, they do have a lot of really great templates and sections and layouts you can use, which is great. Um, I wish it was better, but it's kind of like around here. ReadyMag, again, this is geared towards designers. It's very, very simple. It has like the simplicity of Weebly, but geared towards designers. And I really, really like their interface and their methodology and their branding and their style and their templates. Uh, really great if you're an artist and you want a portfolio. They have a lot of really fun interactive features too. So I'd say it's up here, but it is kind of limited. Um, it doesn't have near as many features as these guys. Um, and they do have a code editor in there, but you can only access it under the paid version. So for that reason, I'm kind of putting it around here. And then lastly, this is Canva. I'm gonna put it way up here. So this is definitely more for new designers. Um, but the reason I like Canva is it's so flexible in terms of it can make videos, it can do slideshows, it can do print material, it can do websites, uh, it has animation, you can embed iframes into it, and, and it can be published as a website. So I really, really like it. The tools aren't nearly as advanced as these guys, um, but for beginners, I would say it's like, it's here. This is definitely the underdog coming up. I might put Editor X down a little bit more, maybe Squarespace up slightly. I would say ultimately, if you're brand new, I would go with Canva. If you're a new and you're a designer, I would go for ReadyMag. If you're more advanced uh, in terms of graphic design and layout design, I would say Webflow or Editor X, but I would ultimately say Webflow is probably your better choice. And if you're kind you know, if you have good design experience and you have technical skills and you're willing to put a lot of time into it, I would say Wix is the best all around web builder. And if you're a coder, I would say go with WordPress. Uh, WordPress or Webflow, but um, but if you're anybody, I wouldn't do Weebly or Squarespace. Maybe Squarespace, but yeah, I'll put Weebly down there. All right, hope you guys found that helpful.